hello everyone welcome to this youtube channel breaking vlogs here today let us get crystal clear information about the 10th class science subject and chapter is classification of elements watch till end to get concise and comprehensive overview of the chapter help us to grow and share this video among your friends and classmates and also do share and subscribe the channel on this note let us start this beautiful video the chapter is classification of elements and periodic table first of all let us understand the concept classification classification means identifying into two similar species and grouping them together levazer who is also known as the father of the modern chemistry divided first of all the elements into two groups the groups were metals and non metals however periodic classification of elements is different from the classification of elements periodic classification of elements means sorting of elements into groups based on the quality of periodic function of their physical and chemical properties periodicity this is known as the periodicity periodicity is the repetition of the same characteristics of a on a fixed interval by elements arranged in a group or in a periodic table There were many attempts by the eminent scientists to classify the elements into different groups and periods from time to time. At the 10th level, only few classifications are required to understand the basic concept of periodic classification of elements. In this perspective, following classification proposed by different scientists will be enough for the 10th level students' understanding. First attempt in this direction was done by the scientist known as Dobie Rainier. Dobie Rainier gave the concept of law of octaves. According to this law, in certain triads of three elements, the atomic mass of central element was the arithmetic mean of the atomic mass of the other two elements. For example, atomic masses of lithium, sodium and potassium are respectively 7 23 and 39 thus the mean of the sodium which is the middle element in the triad is equal to the arithmetic mean of first and third element which are sodium and which are lithium and potassium and sodium is the central element sodium atomic mass is equal to the arithmetic mean of the lithium and potassium This was the law of octave proposed by the Dobie Rainier. However, there were limitations of the law of triads. He classified only 30 lighter elements and his law of triads could not be applicable to the higher mass elements which were later discovered. To overcome the discrepancies and shortcomings of the law of triads, A scientist from England who was called John Newland gave the law of octaves. According to this law, the elements are arranged in such a way that the eighth element starting from a given one has properties which are a repetition of those of the first if arranged in order of increasing atomic weight or mass like the eighth notes of musical scale. sa re ga ma pa da ni after every eighth note first musical note will be repeated same procedure was applied by john newland on the classification of the atomic elements there were certain drawbacks of law of octaves According to John Newland only 56 elements exists in nature and no more elements can be discovered in future however presently there are more than 100 elements in the nature and stand discovered this was an important shortcoming of the law of octaves proposed by the english scientist john newland
resemblance in properties of the element is in the repetition of the same valence shell of electronic configuration when we when we arrange the elements in a periodic table they show the same periodic functions at regular intervals because they have the same valence shell of electronic configuration when we do the electric config configuration of the elements they have the same valence shell and same number of electrons in the outermost shell this is the main cause of the periodicity in the elements and in the periodic table Modern periodic table consists of seven periods, horizontal rows, and eighteen groups, vertical rows. In a group, all the elements contain the same number of valence shells, and the group forms the family named after the first element. In a period, valence shell electrons increase by one by moving from left to right. The maximum number of electrons that can accommodate in a shell can be calculated by the formula 2 and raised power 2. Now let us study the trends in modern periodic table. Trends can be observed in the periodic table by moving across the periods from left to right and along the groups from top to bottom. Following are the main trends in the periodic table. Valency. It is the combining ability of the atoms of one element with the atoms of the other element. It is 8 and 2 in number. Some elements have the valency of 8 and some elements have the valency of 2. Another trend observed in the periodic table is the atomic size. It is the distance of the atom from nucleus to the outermost electron of the atom. It decreases on moving from left to right of the period and from the top to bottom of the group. When we move from left to right of the periodic table, the atomic size of the element decreases. While is when we move from the top to bottom of the group, atomic size of the element increases. Metallic and non-metallic properties. This trend from left to right in a period, metal metallic character decreases, while non-metallic character increases. When we move from left to right in a periodic table, in periods, the metallic character decreases. At the same time, non-metallic characters of the element increases. Metallic character increases from top to bottom in a group, while non-metallic characteristics of an element decreases. This is vice versa of the above character. Another trend observed in the periodic table is the electronegativity. Electronegativity is a tendency of an of a atom to attract the shared electron pair of other atoms towards itself. This is known as electronegativity. In a period from left to right, it increases and in a group from top to bottom, it decreases. Negativity shows upward trend while moving from left to right whereas in a group from top to bottom it decreases. So this was the concise yet the comprehensive overview of the 10th class science chapter periodic classification of elements presented to you by the YouTube channel Breaking Vlogs. Hope you all guys like and share this awesome video. Allah Hafiz.